Ian here. It's Jen, right? Yes, sir. I'd hit that Please, too. Please call me Ian. I was just getting set up for our next stop. Sir, Ian, I just wanted to discuss how it went out there. You know, I don't think it was my best performance. I thought you were fine. Well, defensive operations aren't my strong suit. I'm more comfortable in the attack. I'm a very capable mech warrior, and if you check my dossier, I think you'll find that my record reflects that. Anyway, it was an honor to fight with you, sir. I really believe in what we're doing. Thanks, Jen. Sorry, I've got another message coming in. Yes? The flight crew tells me that we're on track for a successful polar deorbit. Your uncle won't risk communications while in flight, but he'll contact us once we're both down. What are the plans for our first planet-side operation? Peter and I chose to hit the SpySat launch and control facility on the Elysium Tundra. The satellite network provides Roland with worldwide reconnaissance. We should be able to evade detection for a while, but inevitably he'll pick us up. Once he does, he can track our every move. So, we intend to use his own toys against him. We hit a number of outlying facilities to stall a counterattack. Then we launch an assault on the satellite control station. We don't destroy it, we capture it. Peter's bringing in some of Carl's former colleagues, engineers who can aid us in taking over the station. Once we have control, we can use the satellites to identify Steiner targets and track troop movements. Sounds good. Before we set down, you'll have to scout out the area near our drop site. If any patrols identify our drop location, we're dead. We'll hot drop you prior to setting down. I recommend you keep your recon lens small to avoid detection, but that's your call. I'll upload the tactical overview for the rest of the op by the time you get back. Hopefully, Peter will have contacted us by then. Be sure to check your Lancemate roster and get me your picks for the mission as soon as possible. All right. I'll get us set up for the drop. Our equipment seems to have handled the trip just fine, young Dressari. I just wish there was a bit more of it. There should be good supplies for salvage here on the Tundra. Even some heavier chassis. We could use them. Agreed. Heat management shouldn't be much of a problem in this environment, but it will be more of a factor than on the moon. Since the enemy will be more formidable here, you'll want to use surprise in your tactics. Perhaps some long-range weapons in your loadout specifications. Also, speed will be more of a factor, particularly in this terrain. Faster mechs can handle the steeper slopes more effectively. I'll keep that in mind. A piece of advice, young Grisari. Balance your landsmates' loadout with your own. You want to fight as a coordinated whole, not as a collection of mismatched single combatants. Once you've specified the mech configurations you'll be using, I'll get them set up as quickly as possible. Good luck. Sir? Yes, Casey? I notice we've been encountering a lot of smaller combatants. I tend to try to take those targets out at longer range since their weapons are often range limited. Prudent. When I'm on Lance, I'd like you to consider me your official sniper, sir. Okay, maybe not official, but I'd like to be outfitted for longer range engagement. Fuck you, that's my it's job. A tactic I use a lot and heartily recommend. When possible, I'll try to arrange for you to be appropriately outfitted no. for that role. No. Thanks, sir. Get the fuck out of here. I'd also recommend that we all try to use it to our full advantage. I suspect we're going to be encountering a lot of smaller craft in this environment. Even against mechs, you can do a lot of damage with long range sniping. Particularly if you're not in a hurry. All right, Casey. I'll try to remember that. And encourage the rest of the team to use it when appropriate. Go fuck off. Long range sniping is my job. Uh, let's see here. Uh, well, let's actually take a look at the hell spawn. Uh, how much do I have in armor for that? And the Shadow Cat has 30. Hell spawn. Well, the health spawn has 30. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Time to switch this around. Only one. Really? Ah, oh, this clan LRM. These are lighter, though. Alright. Take that out. Take that out. Put that in. Oh. Oh. Oh, that makes me... Oh, that makes me happy. Oh, fuck! What? We already have that? Fuck you. Fuck you. Hello, Goss Rifle. 
<laughs> this is all I need, don't worry. We're good. I like how good my heat efficiency is. Because I just have lasers in the fucking gauss. Like a gauss! Alright. This this is our official setup. Oh wait, I gotta do her. She's in my squad just so I can get into her pants. Um anyways. LRM, LRM yeah, she can be the LRM person. Uh she can be the squad sniper. I don't want the other guy. He was trying to be like me. Do I really want to give her these? Uh, look, see, there's no omni slots, so and I, you you never fucking can equip anything with these people. Wow, medium pulse laser. Sure, let's give her these. Uh, I honestly would like to give her like a half decent cannon, like this. I don't really know. What the hell do you want? You know, I'll just give her a bunch of missiles. That sounds good to me. There, she'll never run out. Uh, ECM... Decreases enemy sensor range, increases enemy lock-on time. Uh... We'll max out her armor. Alright, that sounds good. And then... Take a point out of center. Uh, I still have one more pound to put in. I can put that in the ECM. Sure, why not? Sounds good. Uh, I wonder, can I name Max? Rename. Bitch Mech. She's driving the Bitch Mech. Hell spawn Bitch Mech. There we go. And... Uh, wait, wait, I want to I name my own Mech. Shit. Where's, uh... Where's my shadow cat? XXX knives 420. <laughs> Sweet. All right, there we go. Let's get this going. So we can do a night up again. I'm not gonna ever probably do them because it's gonna be impossible to see on YouTube. So hey, it's snowing, which means we will never need to worry about heat management ever. Control, this is Omega lead. We're down. Macora here. I'm down and clear. Roger, Omega lead. We're preparing for touchdown. We know Steiner's running patrols out here, so scout all nav points and neutralize any units you encounter. We can't risk being discovered. Roger, Control. Sweep and destroy. En route to nav point Alpha. Oh, heli. Hello, helicopter. I like how it's all white. Oh, dear God. You know, I, I haven't done anything to the brightness or saturation. Gauss! Oh, damn, I missed. Okay, I want to gauss him again. Oh, wow, uh, already taken down. Target destroyed. Alright, uh, it's. Gauss rifle's fucking heavy. So I gotta make sure every hit, every shot counts. Holy shit, do you see that? Look at his torso. Already fucking hit. Basically anything called a railgun in games. Whoops. The helicopter it just dies in like one hit. Ghosts! There we go. Only have 44 shots on that. Fuck you, bitch. Honestly, she fucking hit me. Their gun the gunnery would suck anyways, cause the the other guy has like shit guns anyways, so. Oh crap. I missed. But yeah, as you can see, heat is not even a freaking problem. Done. Plus I'm, plus I'm gonna be way more accurate in the first place. So let's keep going. No, let's just kill the tent for no reason. Well, we're still doing pretty good, like, here. Wow, see, look, I barely took any damage at all. You can't leave. Alpha reached. Target destroyed. Oh dear god. See, this is why I don't even bother, like, putting on the laser stuff, because they're not gonna hit me anyways. They usually hit me with ballistics. And as I say that, I get hit by lasers, but that's okay. They're the shit lasers. Or the shit variety. 
Let's just go take out his leg. Actually, no, no, I don't think you can de-leg anyone in this game. It just makes him move slower. Oh, fuck. I keep missing. Come on, Gauss Rifle. I can Gauss. There we go. That one hit, I think. Or I hit the tree, either one. It's much more varied combat, it really is. Like in this one. Oh, that's so that's so sweet, the Gauss. And I can zoom in on him. The zoom in is also really nice too. If you if you look at the Mech 3 zoom in A point, it's just a fucking circle, and it pisses me off. Because it's so Target tiny. Destroyed. The, the the combat in this is much up, much more up close. There we go. Target destroyed. Uh where are we supposed to go now? Scout nav point beta. Alright, let's go up there. Well, we got most of it. Ah, oh, dear god. Another one? Really? So you can't actually see how much health they have until you zoom in like this, and then... Enemy detected. Oh, damn. I sniped Target him. destroyed. Alright, I know. It's just a stupid fucking bulldog, but still. Don't take that away from me. Why don't I... Oh, my radar's down there. That's right. I'm too used to mech 3. I was looking... I was looking at my, uh... Top Target left corner. Destroyed. Whoops. I just crushed him. Target destroyed. You don't want to do that too much. Where you think you're running to, boy? Come back, cause you can't leave. Target destroyed. Basically, anything that's like a machine gun, like the the actual machine guns, are they're total garbage. Or against like these guys, you might as well have like a, just a couple lasers, just to just take them down with, or have a nice Gauss rifle with lots of ammo in it. Oh, you piece of shit! Oh, I'm gonna. Goss the fuck out Control, of one of you. Kind of small outpost here. Roger, Omega lead. Probably a recon base. Take out any defenses and mobile units. Affirmative control. In progress. Kill all those motherfuckers. Target destroyed. A laser turret? Target destroyed. There we go. That's so nice. Oh, Cougar. Now That's probably... Beta reached. I, I already have a Cougar with me. And it's my lance mate. Okay. There we go. Hit him in the torso. Keep our speed up, and we just go circle strafe him. Which is like, pr quite possibly the best tactic you could possibly hope for when dealing with these kinds of mechs. Oh, like, that, I, I meant the one I'm, I'm in. Okay, and get him again with the Goss. You don't have to be accurate with the pulse laser. You get so many Target shots with it. Destroyed. It's so nice. Okay, is that everyone? Target destroyed. Oh, another bulldog. Destroy any combat units encountered. Yeah, it's simple. And we just run towards them with like binoculars. Target destroyed. Yeah, fuck you. I'm done Target with you. Destroyed. Oh, I love it. Do you see why now I, I equipped the Gauss Rifle? Because I equipped that in Mech 3 too, and it was it was absolutely amazing. Target the LP destroyed. that I keep talking about that you're never going to see because I deleted it already. It's literally off my hard drive. Don't even bother asking for it. It was, honestly, it was really bad. I couldn't think of commentary uh, yeah. most of the time. Because it's just so really slow, and like I had to redo Control. it a couple this times. Mega lead. I show a clear scope. I think that's it. Roger, Omega lead. We confirm that. We're touching down. Confirmed. As soon as we're down, I'll have the salvage team sweep the area and see what they can recover. Control out. Omega, be advised. Steiner's elite units are deployed in this area, so you may have some tougher fights. This sounds like something out of Star Trek. Dun dun dun. It really does. I've heard it before, and it's, it was from Star Trek. Hey, cool, our fed dropship is landed. Dropship two. We're on the ground. I drop ship. What the hell? He just moved up the map. <laughs> Mech hell, hell spawn bitch. I got I got a cougar. Uncle Peter. Glad to see you made it safely down. I understand you encountered some patrols in your area. Steiner's in a higher state of alert than I expected. We 
were able to engage the Steiner dropship and severely disabled it before we lost contact. We took some damage, but uh, we're fine. I'll RV with the satellite engineering team tomorrow. Get them there as quickly as possible. Knock out as many of the defenses as you can before we get there. I'm working on it. I'm sure you'll do fine. Elise sent another comm intercept. No big surprises, but I told her to pass it on to you. I'll be in touch as soon as I get the engineering group into the area. Take care. Ian, I just wanted to request something. About the Lance. Please, go ahead. I'm used to being outnumbered, not being able to overwhelm the enemy. So I tend to try to get as close as possible to my objective using ECM and limited active radar scans before attacking. I think we're facing that kind of situation now. You're more talented at stealth than some of us, Jen. Well, maybe. But there's skills anyone can learn, and the only way to get better is practice. My old commander was a big advocate of carefully coordinating attacks so that the enemy wouldn't be able to effectively use his defenses against you. Using ECM, limited radar scans, holding fire until the last moment. In the situation we're facing, particularly here, I think this could be very effective. Thanks, Jen. I'll keep it in mind. And I'll remember to draw on your skills. Thanks, Ian. Here's the transmission we intercepted from Vanta Castro. She's speaking to Captain James Kulin, one of the architects of the invasion. We suspect Kulin issued the orders to eliminate your family. We believe he's currently tasked with pacifying the populace and suppressing any loyalist uprisings. Transmission follows. We don't know where they are. Haven't you been listening? I can't even verify if they're still on the moon. We must assume they're on the planet preparing to strike at us again. Making assumptions in warfare is risky, Major. Look what it's already cost you. Don't ask me to loan you my toys if you're going to send them back broken. If you had sent me veterans for the assignment as I requested, we wouldn't be having this problem, Kulin. I want three companies detached under my authority. I need to get them in place before it's too late. And I'll be happy to pass along your request to Lord Roland. I'm giving you an order, Captain. I want a solid spread of mechs and armor covering our flanks until we know the enemy's location and strength. And I would love to comply, truly. But there's a shortage of dropships for moving personnel right now. Or hadn't you noticed? Yes, Carl? I don't want to intrude, young Dressari, but I wanted to suggest something. We can use any supplies we recover, no question. But while you're considering where to strike first, consider also that when we strike the mech outpost, we may be able to capture some larger mechs before they can even get pilots into them. The machine isn't dangerous without a mind to control it, and salvaging some more powerful chassis with no combat damage could help turn the tide in every mission afterwards. All right, let's just uh, look at what I got. I give her the, the bitch mech. Um, Let's see what we got here. This would be kind of nice to have. Just a Goss in this. <laughs> I'd be like literally the sniper mech, but uh, I don't know if I, sh I can make that happen. Eh, maybe we can. I'm gonna have the Goss. Goss. Like a Gauss. I really like the Goss rifle though. As if you guys can tell. No, I think I should always have something rapid fire on me. I think this is like the most ideal setup I can possibly ask for. It's actually quite nice. Um, but I'm just looking to see if we've gotten anything like ER PPCs. Like PPCs I'd probably put on. But I don't have really a good mech for that. Uh, SRM. MRM. Oh, medium range, so that's right. They have a compromise in between. Alright. And I don't think I I don't really I don't think I should really give this I don't know I guess we'll keep it the way it is. All right then. Omega Lance, this is Control. You're nearing maximum detection range for the communication relay. Suggest you shut down radar and go to passive sensors only. The array is at Nav Point Alpha. Supply depot is at Epsilon. Once you hit the array, they'll have no way to call in reinforcements, and you should be clear to move into the base. Acknowledge, Control. Moving to Nav Point Alpha. Omega Forward, are you in position at Beta? We're moving into the area, Control. 
We're encountering some uh, rough terrain, but we'll be ready. McCoy here. I'm getting ready to shut down radar. Looks like a clear path to target. Sensors online. Weapons systems online. All functioning systems nominal. Guessing it's that nav point alpha. 